Hello and welcome to the Hello. video. So today we're in Folkestone in Kent. There's actually a lot of famous people from Kent, like Mick Jagger, Alan Carr, Pete Doherty. Pete on purpose. <laughs> but today we've got lots of admin work to take care of. We leave in a couple of a couple of days. Yeah. I'd love to see you book a ferry. Although my last experience of booking a ferry, I booked the wrong direction, so we didn't we didn't get yeah. to use it. So maybe you'd be better yeah, than I would. The almost island vlog. We nearly went to island. We've also got some other exciting stuff for the video, such as we've got to see if the LPG converters work. We've got problems with the solar panel. It's going to be a really exciting one. So make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end to find out what happens. We're going to go for a coffee. Why don't you come with us? I don't know if you can hear me because it's super windy, but I just ducked out of the coffee shop as we're trying to sort out our travel insurance and Loretta did accounting in university and I did media studies, so it's better suited for her. Anyway, I thought I'd show you some of the sites in sunny Folkestone. So this is the beach we're parked up at and it's called the Sunny Sands. It's absolutely beautiful. We've been swimming in it every morning. Just across there, we have the Folkestone Harbour, which is actually really cool. We went there the other day too. And it's been all done out now. They have like a little fancy market. And at the end, the lighthouse is actually a champagne bar. And finally, and by no means least, we have the Grand Burstyn Hotel, which is actually the UK's worst rated hotel in Britain. It's a hotel which has been getting some very interesting reviews. Awful, worst night's sleep I've ever had. Bed was rock solid. Rather sleep outside. Avoid it at all costs. In fact, one comment said, dog smelling sea view whatever that means. It's actually really impressive because from the outside, it just looks like a derelict of a building. Anyway, hopefully the runners nearly finished with travel insurance, so I head back to the cafe. So we're done in the coffee shop now. We've got all our travel insurance taken care of. Well, I mean, I found, I found it. I haven't done anything with it. And we've also done our breakdown cover. Yeah, but I haven't bought it yet. I just found it. <laughs> Are head back in and do it. What? <laughs> we'll do it tomorrow. I just, it took me that long to find them. Some of them are really expensive, especially our car's really old. The same with travel insurance, really, really expensive. But anyway, it's taken care of. And now we've got to go and pick up a package to see if our LPG converter works for our car. Cause no, we've already got those. This is um, a multimeter to see if our solar power's working. He has no idea what we're doing ever. So now we've got to go and pick up a package. Hopefully this will let us know if our solar power is working. Because if not, we're not going to have any solar power, are we? Well, yeah, it's fine. It's just a bit annoying. <laughs> yeah. So you heard it here first. It's not always sunny in sunny Folkestone. Just made a dash back to the car. The blustery, rainy weather. So we filmed a lot in the van today because the thing about being at the seaside is it's bloody windy, isn't it? If I had air, it'd be blowing in the wind! <laughs> but it's been very successful. The LPG converter works. The solar panel works. Just a problem with the battery. We've almost booked the travel insurance. We've almost booked the breakdown. <laughs> and we've almost booked the ferry. So pretty <laughs> successful. Now we're going to go for a swim, a shower and a wash and go out for some fine food. I'm not. No? No. What are you doing? I might wash tomorrow, I might dunk tomorrow. So I'm going to go for a swim and a bit of a shower and then Loretta's going to join me and we're going to go out for some nice food out round Folkestone. After a quick dip, I treated Loretta to a lovely meal out. Obviously that's a joke. We went to Burger King for meatless Mondays which means you get a Whopper or a Royale for £2, which fits our current travel budget. Then we decided to go explore Folkestone and Sandgate which was a bit surreal and nostalgic. It was where I grew up when I was younger. So we're actually here two days ago and Folks and Pride was on and it was epic! Cue footage! We are 
right now it's quiet in comparison. Behind us on this roundabout you can see Sir William Harvey uh, looking a little worse for wear. Another famous Folkestonian I was actually born in William Harvey Hospital and he discovered the function of the heartbeat. Kissed a girl and I liked it. Taste of its cherry chapstick. So, fun fact girls get this little red mark on their lip when they're grown up after about four years. Right, I think it's against the law to not come on a rocky beach and skim a rock. Not the best conditions, admittedly. Did it skim? No, You're actually just trying to throw it? Yeah. Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> Bloody hell! <laughs> Didn't work. <laughs> Okay, so we've just got back to the van. Quite a long walk actually. We must have been walking for like two, three hours. So feet. We went to Sunny Sandgate where Pete's um, brother and sister-in-law used to live. We've got pudding. <laughs> now we've got chocolate pudding. We're about to watch some YouTube and chill out. It's so nice out. This has like been the nicest part of the day. It was such a strange weather day, wasn't it? We're gonna get into bed after this and I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow. You look very natural at that. Was I? Very good. Oh, thank you. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Wait a second. Hello and welcome back. We've done some of our jobs. Ferry is booked. We're going tomorrow morning at 6am. Got the breakdown cover, etc. So we're feeling pretty productive. So now what we're going to do is Pete's going to go to the gym and I'm going to get our final last bits like water and things. Anyway, you can come with us. So that was pretty successful actually. Went into home bargains. Really I went in for water because they often sell the five litre jugs for like 40p. I ended up coming out with plates, paracetamol, ibuprofen. So apparently this stuff like that is more expensive in Europe earplugs, bug spray and I think I might ask Pete to go back with me once he's finished at the gym because the couple other bits I think could be useful for us. Oh yeah. I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. It's super windy again here today, so I've been to Sainsbury's, got the essentials, some Yorkshire tea bags, I hear they're quite hard and expensive to get everywhere else, so happy with that. So then I've got the water, so I might have to head to another supermarket after this. Sorry Pete. I need a hero to save me, I need a hero to save me. Okay, so I've done my errands, they even managed to get oil for the car, coolant, etc. all these last little bits. Now Pete's gonna do what he does best and he's gonna put air in the tires. So you've gotta be good at something. Oh, he's a good egg. Beep, beep, beep. He's a good egg. Off the bloody Dover now, ain't it? So we just arrived in Dover, got a nice little spot. We're pretty close to the harbour now. Probably been the most grown up we've ever been in our lives. We've got oil, we've checked the tires, we've got coolant for the car. Loretta's just gone and made sure we've got all the documents and forms. <sighs> Gonna miss those seagulls. I actually will miss the seagulls. I wrote that on my grand's postcard today. Like, I love the seagulls. What was I in there for? I don't know, about really half, long time. half an hour. Right, which way to the the beach? 
You're going to the beach? No, not really. To the ferry terminal. The jobs are finally done. <laughs> so now we're going to take you on Got a little mail trip. Got some mail heading off to Canada to you, Elise, if you're watching, which I don't she think you do. She definitely doesn't watch. She's got the kids. <laughs> so now we're going to show you the sights of Dover. Are we? Oh. Pretty. Pretty green. No, it's not. It's just... I'm going to show you the sights. Just making sure we know where to go tomorrow morning. I don't think this is it though, I think. Oh, where are we? Where are we over there? Yeah, yes. This is Dover Harbour, not quite Folkestone. It's honestly nothing like Folkestone. It's not as, it's not as nice as Folkestone. <laughs> <laughs> the poor seagulls have to eat bloody garbage. But yeah, we've got to come here at like four in the morning because apparently the traffic's so bad. Although it didn't seem like it. I guess we're not looking. I think it'll be fine when we go, but we'll still come early, but you can kind of see the white cliffs in the background there. You probably have better, better view there from... There is a castle, but we can't be bothered to walk up there to I honest. think it's too late anyway. It's really all the sights are out there, but... <laughs> To be honest though, it's not its fault. Anything on the sea does get very weathered. Yeah. And although it's a nice day, it's not the brightest. I don't know, it's just a vibe, it's isn't it? very you, nice and fixed you go we off this morning. <laughs> you go off a vibe. Yeah. We're just not getting that vibe, but I bet there are super nice places in Dover. Up there. <laughs> So I'm gonna whisper. So oh. we're in a car park, and I think it's pretty sketchy. And when you go on to park for night, it says it's sketchy. And there's a group of what can I only be described as young hoodlums just there. So I don't think we're gonna get a very good night's sleep tonight. It's gonna be fine. If you don't hear from us again, what car park are we at? I have no idea. You're the one who found it. Uh, you've got a picture of it on your phone because you. Picture I'll put it on here so if I haven't posted the video in like a week. Yes, yeah, so this is how we're spending our last night in the UK. Yeah, we've got all our errands done, we've got pretty much everything done. There isn't much to do in Dover, to be honest. I think there is, just not at the time we arrive. Anyway, if you made this fun video, I really appreciate it. They are going to get a lot more exciting, or at least we'll be in a foreign country, hopefully, starting tomorrow. So, a lot. I have a good few days, even if you haven't. I've had a great time, just I don't know if it's great viewing. But we'll see you guys on the other side. Bye. I hope he's happy with my purchase. Cereal's quite expensive in Germany. That's it.